Well, hello, my fellow car models. How are you doing today? It looks like uh, we got something else on the bench. Do you remember this one? This was the lost project. Couldn't find it for years. I found it about a year ago. Almost exactly. But I got to put it back on the bench for a couple of reasons. One, I'll tell you in a moment. And two, I just got something in the mail specifically for this car. Well, kind of, sort of. And I'm real excited. And uh, we're going to have to get jumping back on this and get this thing all finished up here, like within about two weeks I've got. So, yeah, let's talk about this. All right, well, we'll open this package here in a moment. I've been pretty excited to get that but uh so fast eddie sharpman this is a uh, pretty much detailed out of the box i'm going let's get those out of the way we'll let you look at this baby i started this model back in 2008 it is the johan pro stock uh, comet mercury comet and uh i did the paint job it's uh all uh, this was one of my 2K clear, it's all automotive paints. Uh, let me see if I can remember, and I think I talked about it. Remember, I did this video a year ago. I have to get that out of the way. Painted this baby um, with uh, House of Color Pagan Gold, and then House of Color, the fade right here. It's House of Color um, Candy Apple Red over a House of Color, or PPG, I can't remember, but it was an automotive base silver with a very micro flake so it can stay you know I, I i don't like metal flake being normal size because it's out of scale on a model car so i always use micro flake if you can really get a good look on it you can see that it's a micro flake this was painted again like geez well 2008 do the math i'm it's too early morning for me but uh shot it with a ppg global uh clear I never really buffed it out. It's got some nibs and stuff, but it came out so clear. I, you know, I'm. I was gonna buff it, but what ended up happening is when I uh, when I put, you know, got it all cleared in. I was gonna buff it. If you notice, this this literally stopped the whole project for me. If you can notice, a piece of this decal ripped off and flew away when I was clearing. Let's get a good look. Can you see that? I don't want to repair it because I'm worried that I'll destroy the paint. Um, I never did any buffing on it, so this is like untouched. You can see there's dirt nibs, even though, you know, that's how it is. I shot this in an automotive spray booth at work. I was working in a custom paint shop at the time, so that's why I'm using, believe me, real expensive paint house of color and it was all on hand at this uh, custom paint shop i was at so yeah okay i i ripped it off but i was okay to do it all right <laughs> but uh um, ppg global oh boy that stuff is expensive it's probably the best clear you can get but for model cars i just i used it because i had it but uh you know you don't have to spend that kind of money to get a finish like that but over the years i noticed a few things coming up there's been some shrinkage and i noticed we got a really bad ick right there i could probably buff all that stuff out but and and then i got some discoloration here coming up that wasn't there back in the back in the day when i painted this it's just it's it aged no telling why that happened but it is what it is i'm not that concerned about it i'm not building this to be you know going to do best of show or anything in any major major contest but i will take this to contest my biggest reason why i'm 
back on this is because I've got the model zona coming up in about two and a half weeks and my buddy Raisin Garrett's coming out here and this model has been a thing between him and I and we have become very good friends over the past couple of years over this I've had him on a couple of my unpodcast super great guy really cool builder he builds a lot of 70s pro stocks among other stuff and his models are real clean he knows about the cars and stuff and and really does accurate accurate models with some really good detail doesn't go over the top I, I really love his models a lot of the northeast shows and, and you know he's from detroit if you go to those shows you've probably seen his models super super great stuff anyways he has this fast Eddie Sharpman car that he's built. He's won lots of awards with it, and he's bringing it. And I got to set this down next to his because it's like kind of the backbone of our friendship. And it's so cool. I get to meet him in person. I'm looking so forward to it. I got to have this done. I promised him I'd have this done. He's always jabbing me and kidding me and sending me a message. You got that comment done? You got that Fast 80 Sharpman car done? I got to do that. I got to do it. But there was a, a missing link to this whole project. And that's where this package comes in. And I'll show you first. I had the engine. And you can see doing some pretty cool detail i really was liking the engine these were resin carbs i made years ago and they were pretty nice i really liked them it was looking good and i had um you know all the photo etch detail on the side and and i'm pretty pleased with those but i noticed when i was trying to get this thing together about a year ago um i had some I had the, the uh, um, other, it's not even around anymore, but you see we've got a fuel line here. The fuel line broke off in here, and I'm trying to repair it, and chunks of the resin uh, carburetor were coming off, and it was just, I had it on, and it looked terrible. It was yucky and gross, and I just decided, I want to 86 those carburetors. I want to put something better on. I got me some 3d printed carbs that i'm going to replace those with and that getting the the this this order here we're going to open it up this is going to definitely uh make me uh complete this car well make me get me to want to complete it well many reasons why i want to clean i can't come up with the words again too early in the morning i got to go to work today i just wanted to make this video quick and it won't be because i don't make quick videos <laughs> So I ordered these from Fireball Model Works. I have always wanted to get them. They have the best carburetors. I ordered a few different types of carburetors. So as I wanted to do a few things. We'll get these all out. And let's see, we've got... Okay, I believe these are the ones that I'm going to use on... No, no, no. Yeah, there's the 4150s but these have the choke if you can see but look at that detail on those just amazing um i picked up some quadra jets had to have those for some stock super stock and stock yeah super stock cars i want to build and stock eliminators they run quadra jets um this is the 4160 oh that's the one yeah i'm i'm all mistaken this is the double pumper and I'll do a video and take them all out and show you. But this is the ones I wanted. These are the correct ones. The 3116s. These are like the uh, the 4160s. Except what's great about these. This is why they're perfect for this model. Ooh, we got a package in a package. But anyway, Fireball Model Works. See that? Here we go. Let's take a look. I'm looking forward to these. Look at that detail. This is, oh, and I love the size. But look at that. They're all open. There's no choke. These are perfect for the race cars. I was wondering how big they would be because mine were actually a little too big and I had to do some chopping down to get them to fit there. I had to cut away on this back one some of the, the uh, float bowl. And I don't think I'll have to with this one. Look at that. Wow, is that nice or what? 
look at the detail on those holy mackerel that is really cool I don't know how close I can get to where you can see the detail those things are beautiful what I love about these it's even got all the linkage and throttle linkage detail and and stuff like that hopefully I don't destroy it cutting it off um, only thing that has always worried me about their product is they 3d print them and they have this gigantic base and they have instructions on their website on how to take this off but it's so scary that you can destroy that carburetor taking these off I hope they come off easy I'm a little concerned about that that's always been kind of a turn off on these but um, we'll we'll see what we can do I'll let you know because they're, they're so they seem to be pretty sturdy but they're such delicate detail on there but they are the most amazing carburetors in scale anywhere those are just just outstanding and this is going to just set this engine off I think that's what I wanted to show you guys I had to clear the USAC build and the Porsche build off the table for a while um, set them aside this is going to be priority for the next two weeks I gotta have this done for model zona I gotta have it on the table to set next to my buddy raising Garrett's fast Eddie Sharpman comment I want to do a video there on that and and, and be with him get ready raising because uh, uh, we're gonna be having a video together there at the show I wasn't even gonna do any videos at the show but I will now just because I want to I want to feature our two cars together. I'm looking so forward to that. That is just what this hobby is all about. The friendship, building models together or having models of the same things, getting them together, meeting each other, putting them on the table, having fun, just going, man, isn't it cool? We got the same same model. and I'm just so looking forward to it. That's going to be neat. And I'm looking forward to finally getting this model done because this thing has been on my mind for what is this 14 years i put it back in the box 14 years ago real quick i'm gonna show you guys something i really dig this i i didn't do much wasn't worried about the chassis i just used the johan stock chassis i wasn't concerned about that i wanted to concentrate on the the paint the engine and the interior very simple interior but it looks pretty cool I liked how the interior turned out. So, I mean, this thing is just needs assembly. I just got to get those carbs on. Do a little bit of detail under the hood. Uh, I want to, you know, because the Johan uh, under hood stuff on these weren't very accurate. Ugh, I keep hitting the thing. I'll show you one last time. I cut this off. This is a popular mod. I see a lot of people doing this. Raisin does it on his. I had this idea. I thought I was someone special. Apparently, I'm not. This was cut out of a monogram 70 Mustang just because I had a junk body. And uh, you take it, and then you have your shock towers, and, and it just makes for a better, more accurate engine bay because what Johan had, and you can see I cut them off. There was just wheel tubs here, and that, it didn't look very accurate at all. I got my uh, under-the-hood look I want. I've got my carburetors now. So happy. These things are so cool. Gosh, look at that detail. I'm just still blown away by the detail. One more look at this stuff. Shipped fast. They were super inexpensive. I mean, I thought almost... I even... I even said to him, <laughs> man, are you sure that's all they are? Man, that's super cheap. I got all those and shipped to me for $20. That's like way, 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 way cheap. Pleased with that service. Go ahead, get online. Go check up Firebird Model Works. They're easy to find. You put Firebird Model Works in Google and wham, you're right to the site. I'm sure you've heard of them. They're, they've been around for a while. They're one of the uh, early... 3d printing companies offering offering stuff for model cars yeah they got a lot of great stuff there so anyways i am done with this video i have to get rolling to work so thanks a bunch for watching this is going to be a lot of fun i can't wait i'm going to i'm really dedicating this weekend coming up to doing a lot of work on this i'm looking forward to it 
This is going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be very gratifying. I don't know why I do this with these model cars. Oh, wait, I do know why I do this with these model cars. There's one answer, only one answer. Because they're fun, right? Here's the producers. Here's the producers.